This morning we would have loved to have gathered for worship here at St Martin's on this Mothering Sunday, but in the present crisis that's just not possible and it's not advisable. Uh, we encourage everybody back at home to be doing all the things that the government are telling us to do, to be very careful, to stay safe, wash our hands regularly, keep a safe distance from other people, and wherever possible to stay at home and be indoors where we are safe away from harm. I'm sorry that we can't be here to worship together today, especially on this Mothering Sunday. The tradition of Mothering Sunday is that people would normally have gathered and gone back to their mother church, to their home church, and for many people, this Birmingham Parish Church, St Martin and the Boring, would have been their mother church. You may know for a very long time, those who were in service in the households of wealthy people, this was the one Sunday they were given off uh, to be able to go and visit their mother church and then to visit their own mothers. And those are the roots of what we now often call Mother's Day. It was originally Mothering Sunday. This is beautiful words written by St Anselm. Uh, which reflect the fact that the Bible often describes God's love for us as that of a mother. So St. Anselm wrote, Jesus, like a mother, you gather your people to you. You are gentle with us as a mother with her children. You comfort us in sorrow and bind up our wounds. In sickness you nurse us and with pure milk you feed us. Jesus, by your dying, we are born to new life. Lord Jesus, in your mercy, heal us. In your love and tenderness, remake us. In your compassion, bring grace and forgiveness. For the beauty of heaven, may your love prepare us. Amen.
Dear God, you gave us a vision of hope, a vision, a dream for family life. It looked like many lights from a great stream of people, generation after generation, adding to each other's light, warming each other's life, setting each other free. Across the boundaries of all our differences, creating in between the brave and gracious light of human community with you at the centre. In silence we now remember how far we are from your dream for our families. Dear God, so often it is the small things that defeat us, the lid of the toothpaste, the bath mat in a heap, the pile of washing up left undone, the last moan from someone, another gift taken for granted. Lord, these small things build up on each other, and when our energy is low and our hurts are high, they take from our life. Sometimes it is hard to live as families. So Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Dear God in heaven, forgive us for the times we have hurt others with our thoughts, words and actions. Heal us of the pain that family life can often bring. Help us to love each other as you love us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hear the words of grace in Jesus Christ. The love of God never fails us. Nothing can separate us from God's love. A new dream is always ours. Rise up and live in freedom and faith. Amen. Sing for joy, O heavens. Rejoice, O earth. Burst into song, O mountains. For the Lord has comforted his people and will have compassion on them in their suffering. Yet Jerusalem says, The Lord has deserted us, the Lord has forgotten us. Never can a mother forget her nursing child. Can she feel no love for the child she has born? But even if that were possible, I would not forget you. See, I have written your name on the palms of my hands. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. John kindly read for us those very powerful words from the prophet Isaiah. The people of Jerusalem say, The Lord has deserted us. The Lord has forgotten us. The response from the Lord is, Never. Can a mother forget her nursing child? Can she feel no love for the child she has born? Even if that were possible, I would not forget you. See, I have written your name on the palm of my hands. I appreciate that not everybody in life has a mother who's wonderful, amazing, even loving or caring. But most of us have been fortunate to be brought up by mothers who do. And obviously today is a day we extend our love and gratitude for not only our own mothers, but mothers across the world and just for the gift of motherhood. My mum would do everything she could for us. We didn't always have an easy childhood, but our childhood was full of blessings. But however much my mum loved us, the one thing she could do, couldn't do was to stop bad things sometimes happening. She certainly couldn't stop us from making stupid mistakes, which we often did. But what she did do was when we made those mistakes, or things were difficult, she did everything possible to reassure us of her love, her presence, her constancy, her care, her compassion, her protection for us in our lives. That's what good mothers do. And the Lord said, can you imagine a mother not even loving her child and abandoning them to whatever's going to happen to them in life? That's very hard to imagine. But even if that were possible, God wants to reassure us that that is not possible for him. It's not in the nature of God. God will never abandon those whom he loves. 
Sometimes in life, things are really difficult. The whole world is going through extremely sad and difficult times at the moment. We all need to do everything that we can to try and minimise the risk of coronavirus and its implications for ourselves, our families, our loved ones, our neighbours, our communities, for those who serve in our health services. But in the midst of this, in the midst of frustrations, disappointments, maybe even things that are making us feel angry or frightened or fearful, is to know that we are not alone that we are not abandoned by God. That he loves you and he loves me. And whilst he does not promise to protect me from everything difficult in life, or anything that might try to hurt me or disrupt my, my life and my living, he does promise that he will be there for me and for you. For our names are written on the palm of his hands and we trust his love which is the same yesterday today and forever Amen We pray for the family of the Worldwide Church, the church family of St Martins, our own families, the life of families all around us, and for all loving relationships. Jesus, Lord of love, in your mercy hear us. Jesus, born in poverty and soon a refugee, be with families today who are poor, who are homeless, and who live in hunger, want, and fear. Jesus, Lord of love, in your mercy hear us. Jesus, who grew in wisdom and favour with God, and the family of Joseph the carpenter, bring wisdom and the presence of God into the life and growth of families today. Jesus, Lord of love, in your mercy hear us. Jesus, who blessed the marriage in the wedding at Cana, bless all those who make the commitment to be husband and wife, and help them to stay true and faithful, loving and kind. Jesus, Lord of love, in your mercy hear us. Jesus, who healed Peter's mother-in-law, 
bring healing to struggling relationships and hurting families today. Jesus, Lord of love, in your mercy, hear us. Jesus, who on the cross said, Mother, behold your son, provide today for those who lose their families, the bereaved and childless, orphans and widows. Jesus, Lord of love, in your mercy, hear us. Jesus, who gave power for us to become children of God, fill us at mountains with your spirit that we might have joined in love and unity. Open the doors of our church that we might find welcome and a spiritual home. Jesus, Lord of love, in your mercy, hear us.
May God, who gave birth to all creation, bless you. May God, who became incarnate by an earthly mother, bless you. May God, who broods as a mother over her children, bless you. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you now and forever.